Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing valeric acid or pentanoic acid from valeronitrile. For this synthesis we will need 5 grams of valeronitrile, 7 grams of sodium hydroxide and 10 milliliters of 50% sulfuric acid. Start by taking a 100 milliliter round bottom flask and transfer 7 grams of sodium hydroxide to it. 20 milliliters of water was added to dissolve it. Then 5 grams of N-butyl cyanide or valeronitrile was added to it. N-butyl cyanide was synthesized in one of my previous videos and link to that is provided in the description. The flask was placed in a heating mantle equipped with a dim growth condenser. Then the reaction mixture was reflexed for 1 hour 30 minutes. By this time the butyl cyanide which remained as a separate layer would disappear. After 1 hour 30 minutes the flask was allowed to cool down to room temperature. When it cools down sufficiently the reflex condenser was removed and 10 ml of water was added to it. Next we will slowly add 10 ml of 50% sulfuric acid. If the temperature becomes very high, an ice bath could be used to bring the temperature down. Once the sodium hydroxide is neutralized and the reaction mixture is acidified, we will get an upper layer and that is the crude valeric acid. Transfer the contents of the flask to a separate refunnel and drain the lower aqueous layer. Then the upper layer was washed two times with cold water and the valeric acid upper layer was separated from the aqueous layer into a small 50 ml round bottom flask. Anhydrous sodium sulfate was used to dry the product. Now we will purify it by distillation. Since the boiling point of valeric acid is 184 to 186 degrees C, I used a Bunsen burner with tripod instead of a hot plate. Aluminium foil was also used to insulate the system. If you have a short path distillation apparatus that is the best thing you will need. But since I do not have it I will keep going with this. When the temperature reads 184 degrees C, a liquid starts to boil and condense through the Frederick condenser. That is the pure valeric acid. This is the final yield of valeric acid that we obtained. It is clear colorless liquid. The final yield was just 4 grams. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.